so this is a whole micro approach where the whole microbe has been taken whole virus has been taken so this is an inactivated vaccine uh, uh, this is live uh, activated vaccine uh, these are viral vector vaccine these are viral vector vaccine now what is the difference between inactivated vaccine and live activated vaccine in uh, inactivated vaccine the uh, the virus is killed virus is killed whereas in live activated vaccine the virus will be weakened that's it right so let's understand one by one what is the whole micro whole microbe approach as we already discussed in whole microbe approach the whole virus the whole corona virus is being taken as a vaccine rather than the subunit a protein uh, not like a protein or vector the whole virus the whole corona virus has been taken in order to instigate our antibodies right so the whole virus if we uh, uh, inject a whole virus definitely it will cause the disease but in whole microbe approach in vaccines what we do we either inactivate it we either inactivate it or weaken it or weaken it so how do we uh, inactivate it the first way to make a vaccine is to take the disease carrying virus or bacteria or one or very similar to it and inactivate or kill it using chemicals heat or radiation this approach uses the technology that's been proven to work in people <coughs> excuse me this is the way <coughs> excuse me this is the way the flu and polio vaccines are made the flu and polio vaccines are made in a inactivated uh, whole virus approach and vaccines can be manufactured on a reasonable scale not on a, a large scale but on a reasonable scale right however it requires special laboratory facilities to grow the virus or bacterium safely can have relatively long production time so this is a drawback a relatively long production time and we like will likely require two or three doses to be administered this is a disadvantage in whole microbe approach and uh, spe specifically inactivated approach so now let's look at live activated vaccines a live activated vaccine uses a living but weakened version of the virus or one that's very similar a uh, measles mumps or uh, rubella vaccines and chicken pox and shingle vaccines are examples of live activated vaccines right these are examples for live activated vaccines so next one is a viral vector vaccine in viral vector vaccine what we do we use one of one of the bacteria or virus as a vector vector is nothing but a carrying agent that's it it carries a genetic material or virus in that case uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can uh, i mean uh, in order to make it too simple aedes aegypti is a mosquito is a mosquito which carries malaria as a vector mosquito aedes aegypti uh, if mosquito bites you that it doesn't causes malaria for you but it carries the malaria disease right so this is a vector in the same case in viral vector vaccines a vector has been used it might be a some symbiotic bacteria or a virus so in that uh, the virus the actual virus will be injected right this type of vaccine uses a safe virus to deliver a specific subparts called proteins of the germs of interest so that it can trigger a immune response without causing a disease without it doesn't cause a disease but it will trigger your immune response right instruction for making particular parts of the pathogen of interest are inserted into a safe virus the safe virus then serves as a platform it serves as a platform or a vector to deliver the protein into the body the protein triggers the immune system and protein triggers the immune system so then antibodies will be released so the the invading virus will be killed right the ebola vaccine is a viral vector vaccine and this type can be developed rapidly as you know ebola was also a deadly deadly de disease but it didn't turn into a pandemic it was curtailed in africa and africa and south america only what happened with ebola ebola was uh, really contagious it was spreading easily but again it started mutating it started mutating when the world over it was huge, uh, really a concern it started mutating it it lost its it lost the ebola lost its 
a contagious ability the spreading ability but it became deadly but later it was curtailed now uh, now it's been uh, uh, ebola is not such a threat as like a uh, covid 19 right the ebola vaccine is a viral vector vaccine that this can be developed rapidly right so the other approach is a subunit approach subunit approach rather than the whole whole microbe approach the subunit approach is somewhat different a subunit vaccine is one that only uses a very specific part of a virus or bacterium that immune system needs to recognize it doesn't use the whole a uh, virus itself it doesn't take the whole virus itself it only uses a part of a virus it might be a spike protein or it might be a, any part of a virus right so uh, uh, it doesn't contain the whole microbe or use a safe virus as a vector it doesn't use a safe virus as a vector also the only thing is a part of a subunit the, you should understand the difference between a uh, viral vector vaccine as well as subunit vaccine in a viral vector vaccine what we do we use a uh, uh, we use a virus or a bacteria as a carrying agent but in case of subunit we don't use a viral vector itself we only take a subunit of the whole virus right so the subunits may be proteins or sugar not uh, it should not be a protein so most of the vaccine on the childhood schedule are subunit vac vaccines protecting from peoples that are that has whooping cough tetanus diphtheria as you know dpt dpt is a very a uh, famous and very uh, uh, useful vaccine which is been vaccinated for the child right diphtheria pertussis and tetanus pertussis is not, uh, nothing but whooping cough right uh, so this uh, 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 this mechanism of sub subunit approach is used in diphtheria whooping cough tetanus and meningococcus meningitis as well right so next uh, way of uh, developing a vaccine is the generic approach or nucleic acid vaccine what we do in uh, uh, subunit approach in subunit approach we used to take a part of part of a virus or bacteria or an organism it might be a protein or uh, whatever it might be but in genetic approach what we do is we extract the genetic material we extract the genetic material as we already know what genetic material is either it might be dna deoxy ribonucleic acid or rna or rna dna or rna will be extracted in nucleic acid vaccine unlike uh, vaccine approaches thus either uh, weakened or dead whole microbe or parts of one parts of one a nucleic acid vaccine just uses a suction of genetic material that provides the instruction for specific proteins not the whole micro dna are the dna and rna are the instruction our cell uses as you know the dna or uh, rna are the genetic material as the cell uses so it make proteins in our cells dna is first uh, turned into mrna or messenger rna which is then used as a blueprint to make a specific proteins right so this is how a genetic approach a nucleic acid vaccine is uh, developed right so this is a single helix as you can see a single helix so a single helix means it will be a rna based vaccine right so this is a, a dna which is a double helix a matrix double helix matrix uh, since you guys are preparing for other exams you should be know, knowing uh, who developed uh, who was uh, the major brain behind the uh, watson and uh, dna the watson and crick and all so then it will be transcribed into rna transcription and this this will be dealt in a uh, different video so dna will be uh, transcribed into messenger rna right a nucleic acid vaccine delivers a specific set of instruction to our cells either as a dna or mrna for them to make this specific protein that we want our immune system to recognize and respond to right so this is how uh, dna based or uh, genetic uh, approach based vaccine is been developed so now in this slide let's understand as we already did so type of uh, corona vaccine approaches so dna and rna based approaches and uh, live attenuated based uh, approach to develop a vaccine inactivated based uh, develop to approach a vaccine subunit based either the proteins or some other uh, materials will be extracted from a vaccine and uh, 
uh, extracted from a microorganism and it will be developed as a vaccine and the viral vector vaccine as we already discussed a congenial egg uh, a, uh, a virus will be used as a vector a carrying agent where the other uh, uh, disease causing uh, uh, virus will be injected into it right so how it works advantages disadvantages existing uh, samples group testing for these in approaching in covid 19 and all we already discussed about uh, this in the previous slide in detail right so uh, please have a look about it dna and rna the vaccine now uses dna or rna molecules to reach the immune system to target the key viral proteins uh, in, in case of live activated this is a weakened version of the actual virus in case of uh, inactivated and inactivated vaccine use the whole virus after it has been killed with a heat of chemicals in subunit approach what we do this vaccine uses a piece of virus surface to focus your immune system on a single target right in a viral vector vaccine this approach takes a harmless virus and uses it to deliver a viral gene to build a immunity right so this thing we already uh, discussed uh, in detail right so different uh, covid vaccines which has been developed in the world as of now you know uh, covid was a serious threat from 2020 uh, 2019 20 and all so the whole world whole pharma sector was behind it in our development of the vaccines so in this uh, quest of uh, developing a vaccine uh, most of the pharma companies have come up with uh, as we all already discussed 200 were uh, uh, trying for it but 50 to 52 uh, uh, companies have been granted with the covid vaccine and they went for human trials as well after that there were a very uh, 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 number finger counting numbers which has been developed right so how some of the covid 19 vaccines so these are the covid 19 vaccines which has been uh, given approval from the respective uh, national governments so it might be us or uh, in case of india it might be dgca in case of uh, us it might be their own uh, uh, drug control authorities right in case of russia uh, france and all they have developed their own vaccines so first one is oxford uh, uh, uni astrazeneca vaccine which has been developed in britain it's a viral vector genetically modified virus vaccine so it should be give the jab should be two doses you should be uh, take you should take uh, two do, two doses and you should be stored in a temperature of two to eight degree centigrade so the uh, duration between uh, the two doses should be uh, uh, based on the uh, experts right so moderna is a us based company it has developed a uh, uh, vaccine uh, moderna vaccine it is a rna uh, rna part of virus genetic code and uh, again uh, it is also a two doses vaccine the storage capacity the storage temperature is minus 25 to minus uh, 15 degree centigrade uh, Pfizer and biotech which has been uh, developed in collaboration with uh, us and uh, uh, germany uh, it is a rna based vaccine again it should be taken taken in a uh, two doses it should be stored at a temperature of minus 80 to uh, minus 60 degree centigrade gamelia or sputnik 5 which is a russian based vaccine which is uh, recently launched in india as well it is a viral vector vaccine it should be taken in two doses but now they have been uh, uh, they have been uh, changed it to single dose vaccine it's a viral vector vaccine it should be stored under negative 15.5 degree centigrade right Sinovac or Coronavac which has been developed in uh, China is an inactivated virus weakened vaccine and it should be taken in two doses it should be stored in the uh, temperature range of 2 to 8 degrees centigrade Novavax again developed by US it's a protein based vaccine should be taken in two doses the jab should be taken in uh, two doses it should be stored in uh, 2 to 8 degrees centigrade in the same way Janssen as well it's a viral vector vaccine right in India there are two vaccines which has been developed and which has been tested and uh, as we know we, we, which is been uh, uh, taken by indians as well uh, those are covid shield and co vaccine let's <coughs> excuse me let's understand the difference between covid shield and co vaccine which are the companies which has been developed co which which is the company which has developed covid shield as well as co vaccine what is the efficacy rate how different are they and which is the best among them right Covishield is a Oxford, Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine being manufactured by the Serum Institute of India. It's made from a weakened version of a common cold virus known as a 
adenovirus virus from chimpanzees right it has been modified to look more like a corona vaccine corona virus although it can cause illness how it works when the patient gets a jab of vaccine it stays the immune system to start producing antibodies and prepare it to attack any corona virus infection right efficacy covid shield as over efficacy of 70 percent however it can be over 90 percent when it administered as half dose followed by a full dose a month later which is in the uh, news in the recent times we will discuss it, discuss it in the future videos right so it should be stored uh, uh, safely stored at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees celsius which is very much important whereas in case of fast and nk based vaccines and all uh, it should be stored under uh, minus degree centi centigrade whereas uh, this is good for indian uh, i think right so this is the price uh, which has been fixed and uh, later it's been revised as well right covaxin it's an inactivated vaccine which means that it is made up of killed coronavirus making it safe to be injected into the body covaxin has been developed by indian biotechnology company bharat biotech and clinical research body icmr right bharat biotech used a sample of coronavirus isolated by INME, Insta, Indian National uh, Institute of Viral uh, Virology, when administered, immune cells can still recognize the dead virus, promoting the immune system to make antibodies against the pandemic virus. How it works? And delivery of the vaccine teaches the immune system to make antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, right? So, uh, uh, when uh, it recognizes the SARS-CoV-2 vaccine, when we are infected with the uh, SARS CoV 2, then the remembered uh, memory will be activated, antibodies will be activated to kill the new corona, right? So, uh, uh, let's understand the efficacy. Covaxin has shown 78% efficacy, whereas in case of uh, Covid, it was 70% efficacy. In second interim analysis, 100% uh, against severe Covid 19 diseases, right? Storage. The vaccine can be stored at 2 to 8 degree Celsius, right? So, uh, I, uh, uh, which is best, either Covaxin or Covishield, don't look for which is best in terms of efficacy and the clinical trials. Both vaccines have been yielded the good uh, results. So, uh, go for vaccination that is at most important, uh, importance, right? So, mut mutation of uh, coronaviruses uh, in India. What is uh, uh, mutation? Mutation in simple terms is when a virus enters into a body, it enters into a cell, it reproduces or replicates into multiple copies. During this uh, replication of copies, the basic uh, genetic coding of the virus will be changed, right? In a minor way. Uh, in the in the process in the in the process of the multiplication of copies the virus its, uh, itself the genetic coding will be changed and the new variant will be formed this is what uh, mutation of coronavirus is all about so there are uh, different genes different variants of uh, coronavirus genes which has been uh, found world over n501y which has been found in uk south africa and brazil uh, this mutation is located in the viral reception binding domain for cell entry helps the virus to bind more tightly to the human cells. So E484K is one more uh, mutation which has been found in again Africa, Brazil and US. E484Q is found in South Africa and Brazil. E484Q plus L4542 uh, are these are only the names which has been given to the variants. In the same way, uh, in the India also, there is a B series of uh, variants which has been found and uh, 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 the scientists are uh, opined that the uh, Indian uh, variants are more deadly compared to other uh, mutated viruses. So, uh, uh, mutation will be going on. It might be for coronavirus, it might be rhinovirus or for, uh, for any other virus, the mutation will be going on. Even in Ebola also, we have seen that the mutation will be going on, right? So, for, uh, uh, as mutation will be going on, we should understand since we are going for a vaccination, does the vaccination either it may be Covaxin, Covishield or Sputnik, will it be helpful for the mutation or not? So, what ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research announced that 
Covaxin has neutralized multiple variants of SARS-CoV-2 including the double mutant strain called B1617 right so in that case even the uh, virus mutates but the vaccine which you are taking will be really helpful right so this thing which we already uh, discussed about uh, uh, the different types of vaccines which are uh, compared right so this is all about uh, vaccine and different types of vaccines which has been developed world over and how vaccines are developed uh, what is the mechanism behind development of virus how it will help us to fight the disease of coronavirus thank you please subscribe uh, to sidhanga academy youtube channel for more such kind of videos right thank you